This is one of Ireland's premier rivers from a historic, ecological and economic perspective. In Victorian times, it was often described as the Irish Rhine. Its principal stream rises in the foothills of the Kerry Mountains, then flows eastward for over a hundred miles, gathering numerous tributaries on the way, until just beyond historically is more, it reaches the town of Capaquin. The river was the lifeblood of the local economy, principally due to its value for transportation. Its other major wealth was in its salmon fisheries. Even today the salmon still run, and there is a vibrant angling scene upstream, and the prolific wildlife goes about its related activity. Like with so many Irish rivers, each and every strategic bend became a focus point for settlement. In the case of Dramana, its massive Georgian house is long demolished, and what we now see is a redevelopment of the old Jacobean residence. Luckily, some earlier structures still survive on the grounds, such as the waterside bastion and the adjacent, absolutely unique rock house, still the subject of much academic investigation. Dramana, the hill by the marsh. I was born here. Um, I was born um, here and, and lived here for the first couple of years of my life, and then sadly, my father. Uh, couldn't keep the estate going as it was in the old days, which in fact meant that nearly everybody in the area worked here in one form or another. My father thought the best he could do would be to offer the house to any member of the family who would take it on to live in it um, themselves, and the land would then be sold to the land commission. The son of, of, of the chap who took on living here very kindly offered for us to come back and, and take it on again. So in 1995, uh, my parents got to return, and Nicholas, my husband, and I came then um, um, in 2004 when my father died uh, and took up residence. So here we have Catherine, Countess of Desmond, reputedly born in 1464 and died in 1604, making her 140 years old, growing three sets of natural teeth dying, falling from the first cherry tree brought to Ireland and planted here at Tremana by Sir Walter Raleigh. I always say if you believe that, you'll believe anything, but in fact many history books swear to it that she did live to 140 years. She was a fascinating character. She was born here at Tremana and she died here at Tremana. Um, uh, we have a wonderful bookcase made from the cherry tree that she supposedly fell out of. Tremana is, is it's, it's not an enormously large house, it, it's a very historic house, but it's, it's not grand at all, but it's, its living quarters are very comfortable. We then have two self-contained apartments, uh, sleeping in total 12 people, but can be broken down into smaller groups, uh, depending on what's required. Uh, one sleeps eight people, and the other four, uh, some will come for a mid-week break, others will come for the full week. So it's all very flexible. We uh, have had many honeymoon couples come people come for all sorts of different holidays, from uh, walking holidays to yoga to mindfulness, uh, garden, visiting other gardens. We've got seven other gardens in the area immediately surrounding us here, within five miles to be precise.
Location-wise, Dramanagh is very well uh, positioned. We're one hour from Cork, one hour from Waterford, and I guess two and a half from Dublin Airport, which is really uh, not, not a bad journey. So accommodation is all year round available. Here at Tremana, uh, you can choose to be very private. Um, you know, you're completely self-contained in your apartments. Or if you want, you can come and join in the family in the garden or, or go and, as it's a garden of 30 acres, there's always a quiet corner. The Taj Mahal, it's, as it's called. Well, <clears throat> my great, great, great grandfather Henry, uh, Lord Stuart de Decies, when he married uh, in 1826, was returning with his young bride, an Austrian lady, uh, and the estate was so pleased to see him coming back that they decided to make some sort of a garland to welcome him home. He had the bridge that you see today, uh, or, the, or the, the building you see today, built at, at a later date after that, an era of folly building, really. So it was one of the many entrances to Dravana. There were three avenues. The gardens are full-time, uh, but if you like something you do, there is not a job. You come to visit the garden at Tremana um, or, or house tour. I just love what I'm doing. Um, working with nature is very therapeutic. They say putting your hands in the dirt is extremely important. Everybody should be doing it. Um, so people come and stay here. If they want to come gardening with me, they're very welcome. Dramana is a wonderful place for people to come if they enjoy photography. Uh, whether it be photographing uh, flora or fauna, um, up the woods you'll come across all sorts of amazing wildlife. Um, needless to say, we've got in the, in the, in the, throughout the year we've got deer, uh, we've got otters in the river. Dramana is the ideal place to come if you want some peace and quiet. With so much natural beauty and tranquility all around you, if you want to just walk down to the bastion and sit above the water there, it is simply wonderful. There is no other place quite like it. The key to a good garden is a fertile soil together with landscaping, plants, and design, of course. The natural layout of the lands of Dramana lend itself to a dramatic effect. Since taking over the garden in 2004, Nicholas, my husband, and I have planted many thousands of interesting woodland plants, which we have happily sourced from all over the world. People are so kind in sharing what they grow. The mature trees lend a backdrop to a large number of species rhododendrons, camellias and azaleas in the spring. The herbaceous borders bring us through to the height of the summer and the hydrangeas take us to the close of the growing season and the fantastic autumn colour reflected in the river beneath us.
the yoga groups then they like to um, maybe take in a tour of the house, they maybe have dinner with us, um, or they have their own self-catering apartments where they can sit self-catering from the beginning of the week to the end. Many people ask me what it's like to live here at Tremana, and all I can say is wouldn't you like to wake up surrounded by this extraordinary beauty? I'm the 26th generation to live here, a tenant for life I say, and there's nowhere I'd rather be.